hello friends uh, welcome to usm tech world today i am going to teach you about uh, asp.net mvc page life cycle so what i understand i just uh, want to share with you so let us begin the session now so i bet you that it will be very easy for you to uh, know the flow of page life cycle in esp.mvc so first user will be uh, he will enter the url in the browser so that means he is requesting the url to the browser and this request is passed to the routing table so routing table is that one which is a just having all the patterns there is pre predefined patterns are loaded in the routing table so after that uh, it sends a request to it sends a uh, command to mvc handler so this handler uh, it will handle this uh, uh, it will handle this pattern and it will uh, create the controller instance you create the controller instance and this controller instance is then passed to the controller and from the controller it will uh, sense the execute so it will after the controller gets uh, instantiated it sees uh, correct action to execute so after the correct action get executed it sends a result to the view result it sends as a view result so view result may be it is a json result or uh, some other uh, content result or or redirect result and then it selects the appropriate view engine whether it is a razor or a aspx uh, view engine and then finally the html is rendered in the view and this response is being finally delivered in the browser so this is what a simple page life cycle law so i hope you understand uh, the flow so let us uh, jump into the detail of the each and every Uh, blocks of this uh, MVC life cycle. Uh. So first of all, when ASP or an MVC application starts, uh, it lo uh, it loads uh, the route table uh, in the application start uh, method uh, of global dot ASX. Uh. so it registered the patterns so actually it registers the patterns by default in this route table uh, at the start of the asp.net mvc application so after that request is the first one first block where the user request or enters any url in the browser after that it goes to the routing table so in routing table it checks whether the entered url is matched with the uh, present uh, present url which is already existed in the routing table if it is matching means it will forward the request to mvc handler so mvc handler what it will do it will process the request by implementing the ihttp handler and it will uh, send the result to controller so controller uh, actually what it creates a instance of the controller so it creates a uh, instance of the control by using the controller factory and after creating the instance for the controller it will it uh, executes the action method it uh, it uh, executes the action method that is a which action method to execute in the controller first so it it is determined in the action execution section so how it determines which action to be executed 
by using action selector attribute so it has action selector attribute like action name is there action verb is there non action method is there so in action in controllers if you see means in controller class you will see the action name uh, within square bracket an action name will be there so there you will be using find as a action method name instead of get by id i don't want get by id to be uh, entered in the browser instead i want to find to be entered so that that i defined in the uh, below part so action name is find instead of get by id so you will be invoke uh, http localhost student find slash one so instead of uh, http localhost student get by id one you can write it as find slash one both are equal only so this is what the action execution method will determine which action to be executed in the controller first so and also action verb also it will see and uh, action verb means it, it is uh, http get http post uh, http delete these are all the action verbs in the uh, action selector attribute so that also will be noticed in the action execution block so after that uh, it executes the result and return the result type as a view result or json result or content result or redirect result to the uh, action result uh, that is a uh, index method or any other method you are using uh, so in that method it will return the view result so here it is returning as a view so view is nothing but a view result uh, basically so this view result will be uh, returned as a return type to the action result method but action result method is nothing but a, is an abstract class uh, so the both are same only so after that view engine block is there so after executing the view result uh, it will uh, select the correct view engine so uh, appropriate view engine whether it is a racer engine used is used or a aspx engine is view used if it is a racer engine used means it will uh, pull the result to uh, that is push the result to the racer engine and uh, it's uh, it is being under in the view part So finally, the output will be uh, seen in the browser as a HTML response. So this is what the simple uh, ASP.NET MEC page life cycle. Uh, I, I hope uh, you have understood the uh, basic, uh, very very simple uh, way of understanding ASP.NET page life cycle. Uh, I hope it uh, helps for you. So thank you for watching. So please subscribe to my channel for further videos uh, with a simple explanation of the concept. Thank you.